Customized cash rewards credit card. You can earn three percent cash back on online shopping, making the essentials even more rewarding. Ready for the semifinals of the women's hundred meter breaststroke? Lily King of the United States, the big favorite, will swim in the second semifinal. But you know when you think of hotbeds of swimming, you think about these states in the U.S. California, Texas, and Florida. And then you have to put Maryland on the map, being that Katie Ledecky and Michael Phelps are from there. But you don't necessarily think of Alaska. In fact, we've got a swimmer in this first semifinal who has become the first Olympic swimmer ever from Alaska. And her name is Lydia Jacoby, and she's just 17 years old from Seward, Alaska. She got a big greeting after the Olympic trials, making the team some 80 people coming to the Anchorage airport to greet Lydia and she has been dropping some big times here in the last couple of years to earn herself an Olympic spot. She's in the middle of the pool in lane four swimming for the Seward High School Seahawks and she is in the big time now because just a couple of lanes away from her is Yulia Yefimova who had that famous duel with Lily King in Rio, the finger wagging, finger wagging back and forth. And now Yefimova not only really considered a medal contender at age 29, but then you've got another Yefimova up in lane one. This one with a J. Emily Yefimova from Estonia, the youngest swimmer at these Olympics. She's just 14 years old up there in lane one. But there is the pink cap of Yulia Yefimova. And a couple of lanes above her is the rookie from Alaska, Lydia Jacoby, who's dropped some three seconds in her times in the last two years, right? And you're right, she has dropped dramatically. Think about this, 22 months ago, she was 109.6. Seven months ago, 107, plus three months ago, 106, and now she's at 1052. She's in that upper yellow lane line, Lydia Jacoby. One of ten female teenagers on this U.S. Olympic team, all enjoying their experiences. That is Tom Chiantin up there in lane two who had the lead at the turn. And Sophie Hansen in lane five for Sweden was second. 31-2, just a couple of tenths slower than she went in the prelims, but boy, I'm not sure anybody in this entire field is better the last 50 than Jacoby, maybe even more so than King, and you can see her coming on right now. She was, remember Dan, she was fourth at the 50. Sophie Hansen in lane five looking good, and it's Jacoby above her in lane four who is powering her way to the wall, and the 17-year-old for the United States touches first, followed by Hansen and Yafimova. So that's a nice controlled race, it appeared, for Jacoby. Yafimova's looking at the board like, eh, I don't know if I'm happy with that. And, and, and let's not forget how old she is. I mean, the maturity she is showing as a first-time Olympian. Here's her start. That's going to get better as she matures. There's no doubt about it, but she's got a distinctive technique. So low on her recovery, but somehow she makes that dead space, keeps it to a minimum. She draws those hands out, but she generates her speed, Dan, to her kick. Can't wait for you to see Billy King next and the height she gets. But boy... Can she kick? And that's what the stroke is. Come on, let's not, let's not joke ourselves. I mean, it's all about the kick. Very well could see two Americans on the podium by the time this is over as Lydia Jacoby takes the first of the two semifinals as we look forward, of course, her teammate, Lily King, who's been unbeatable, has not lost this race in five-plus years. She's in the second semifinal coming right up. 
NBC presents what this team can do. Everything was a competition in my house. Cleaning your room, doing your homework, practicing piano. Right now, the King has the lead, and she's going to win it. She did it! Wow, what a swim for Lily King. It was driven into me very young that I was going to be a competitor, I think. NBC's coverage of the Tokyo Olympic Games is brought to you by Salesforce, proud partner of Team USA.